Good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am doing a little winter morning routine and I haven't done a morning routine in years. I think I've only done one on my channel. It was like a Sunday morning routine which is just it was cute but it was funny. So I haven't done one in forever. I don't know if you guys remember they used to be all the rage on YouTube but people used to do them like every single season and they've kind of started to make a comeback. I've been seeing them more recently and I thought I would do one too because it'll be fun to share kind of my little morning rituals with you guys. I value my morning routine so much. I am such a schedule routine person like I thrive on a schedule like it's just I'm a Virgo. If you're a Virgo too, you know the vibes. So that's just how I am. I feel off if I don't do all these things in the morning. I just feel like it's not right. And I also work from home. So I know it can be really hard if you do work from home to try to commit to a certain schedule. I've been doing it for a while now. So I've kind of gotten the hang of it. And I do feel like it's very important when it comes to working from home because it is so easy just to be lazy, not to get up at a certain time, not to start work at a certain time. So this is kind of what I've been doing for a while now. And this is specific to my winter morning routine, kind of what I've been doing at the start of 2020. And I'm also gonna do a self care night routine later this week. So I'm gonna put that up, I think Sunday night. So we kind of have a little theme going on here. So I've already kind of started my morning a little bit. I already brushed my teeth and I washed my face. That is like first things first. I got to do that as soon as I wake up. And honestly, there's no cute way for me to film it and show you guys. So that's all you need to know. Teeth are brushed, face is washed. Now we can get on with the rest of my morning. Currently about eight o'clock. I woke up at like 7.45. Monday through Friday, I typically wake up around 7.30 to eight. It kind of depends on how late I'm up the night before. I often edit really late or I work really late, um, which I try not to do super often but sometimes it happens so that is kind of the deal for today and I think we can go ahead and get into it now I'm gonna make my bed here in a minute we'll do my skincare routine I'm gonna read my devotional I'm gonna stay off my phone throughout that whole process I did already text Marcus good morning but really try not to scroll through my Instagram or my email I just try not to make that a part of my day until a little bit later um, and I'm obviously gonna have some morning coffee here in a minute gonna take Ellie outside gonna feed her so there's a few things that we do around here that are important so let's go ahead and get into it It's like a gloomy morning, but I can see the sun's coming out a little bit more. I can hear the birds chirping. I love this part of the morning. I always love coming out here, taking her outside and just kind of, you know, looking around. It's so pretty. Okay, so Ellie has eaten and she's gone out, so she's all taken care of. Now we can move on to the most important part of my day, and that is coffee. Just the best part of the morning. Like if you're a coffee drinker, you can agree. I have two cups a day. First one is in the morning and I wanted to share how I make my coffee, what coffee I use. I'm sure some of you guys know. Um, this is the only coffee that I drink. It's Tiemann's Fusion Coffee. It's below acid. And what is so special about this is that it's my dad's coffee company, you guys. So this is the family business right here. And it's really exciting. I get to tell you guys a little bit more about it today because they're actually sponsoring this portion of today's video, which is super exciting. I know it's my dad's coffee company and I recommend them a lot but I wanted to give you guys a little bit more info about it. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it before. I can't recommend it enough. It is incredible coffee. The most important part about this coffee is that it's low acid. So if you guys have issues with acid reflux, you just have a sensitivity to coffee, it makes your stomach hurt. This is super smooth, low in acid, high in antioxidants. So it's gonna be really easy on your stomach. Doesn't give you a crash or any jitter. So you definitely should check this out if you feel like you haven't been able to drink coffee because of some of those issues. This is my favorite roast, the dark ground. It's so bomb. They also have medium dark whole bean and decaf if you guys don't like caffeine. And you can see here on the label, it has a ton of antioxidants because it's combined with matcha green tea, goji berry and rubus red tea. So it has those amazing ingredients for the health benefits, but it's so smooth, but you guys have to try it for yourself. They just went nature with sprouts. So you guys can check out a local sprouts near you, or you can even get it on Amazon. You also can shop at select whole foods. I'll link their website below and their Instagram. So you guys can message them if you have any questions. And I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway with this coffee on my Instagram. So make sure you guys head over to my Instagram. It's going to be on there the day this video goes up. So make sure you go check it out now if you're here. 
Um, it'll run for about a week and there's gonna be three winners. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my morning coffee right now. I drink it iced. So what I do is basically just store some coffee in a little tumbler like this um, from the evening before. So it gets nice and cold because I prefer iced coffee. I do like hot coffee every once in a while, but ice is just my jam even in the winter. Um, so I just usually store this from the evening before. You could even store it in the morning if you wanna have an afternoon coffee. Um, I also have an afternoon coffee. I have coffee in the morning and at like around two o'clock every single day. And I always have it in a little mason jar. I got these on Amazon and I add some almond milk and then some vanilla almond creamer. I do just about, this is full of coffee, so hopefully I don't spill about this much. Oops, I already spilled. That's also part of my morning routine. I spill every single morning, it's just so clumsy. Now I add just about a splash of almond milk, just like that much, not a lot. This is my favorite almond creamer. It's the Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Almond Vanilla the best almond milk creamer I've ever had. It's so good. Again, like kind of just a splash. I don't like my coffee too sweet. Um, so that's probably enough for me. I don't like a lot. And now I'm gonna add a ton of ice. Okay. <laughs> Always spill the ice also. Basically three handfuls of ice. Like I don't know why I do this, but I do. So. That is basically my morning coffee. It's so good. I feel like I always make it for people when they come over. So bomb, it's my morning and afternoon coffee. Definitely is like one of the best parts of my morning. So I'm gonna link everything below for Teemans so you guys check it out. Again, make sure you go to my Instagram to check out the giveaway. I feel like this was just so fitting for this video because 2020, we're trying to start off and have some good goals, make healthier choices. And I feel like for coffee, something that you maybe have every single day, it'd be a lot better for you to switch out for something healthy and something that's just gonna make you feel really good so this just felt really on theme for this video thank you to team ends for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'm trying to show my window without showing too much of my window so that you guys can see my whole street but I always with my blinds first thing in the morning I obviously already opened them just so we had some lighting for the video but I love opening my blinds in the morning I have this huge bay window in my room um, so it lets in so much natural light and it's so pretty in the morning um, and I just love that natural lighting it just wakes me up and makes me feel good like I don't know just really brings me happiness so always open my blinds first thing even sometimes I sleep with my blinds a little bit cracked so the morning light comes in in the morning and it kind of helps me wake up okay so I'm gonna read today's passage it is Wednesday January 22nd it's just one little passage per day which is why I like it it's easy enough to digest each day where it makes sense and you can relate to it and it really resonates and I just really love starting my day with it I just feel like it's so nice to do before I start working before I go on my phone or anything like that so I'm gonna read it to myself really quick and then I will read it out loud to you guys wow I sound like a teacher but okay here we go Strive to trust me in more and more areas of your life. Anything that tends to make you anxious is a growth opportunity. Instead of running away from these challenges, embrace them, eager to gain all blessings I have hidden in the difficulties. If you believe that I am sovereign over every aspect of your life, it is possible to trust me in all situations. Don't waste energy regretting the way things are or thinking about what might have been. Start at the present moment, accepting things exactly as they are, and search for my way in the midst of those circumstances. Trust is like a staff you can lean on as you journey uphill with me. If you are trusting me consistently, the staff will bear as much of your weight as needed. Lean on, trust, and be confident in me with all of your heart and mind. They always cite where it's from on the bottom, so if you wanted to look it up in a Bible and read more, you could. Um, so it's Psalm 52, 8, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So I really love reading that every morning. I just feel like it's such a nice way to start your day. And I know you guys love when I post it. So I will link it below for you guys to purchase if you want. Okay, now I'm going to make my bed because you gotta make your bed. Successful people make their bed every morning. Just, you know, remember that. If you haven't made your bed this morning, let this be a PSA. Go make your bed. Okay, bed is made, room is nice and clean. One thing that I love to do is spray this room spray. It's from that essential oil store called Sage. Um, I love this stuff, it's just a fresh air spray. It just smells like clean, look at all these pillows. I'm crazy. Um, it just smells like, like fresh laundry, fresh linen. I like to spray my bed with it in the morning and just my room. And the smell really does linger all day. 
like when I'm down in my office, I'll come back upstairs and it'll smell really fresh and clean in here and I just love it. So I'll link that below, it's amazing. I have a nighttime spray from them as well that I guess I'll share in my nighttime routine video. Okay, now that I've read Jesus Calling and I made my bed and I've done all that stuff, I can go on my phone for a little bit. So I'm not gonna be showing any breakfast in this video because I just started intermittent fasting this week. So I'm not eating till 12 o'clock today. So um, I'm not gonna be having breakfast for a while. I love breakfast food so much. So I typically will just still eat breakfast at 12. Um, so that's actually what I might do today, but I'm not gonna be showing what I eat. Um, and that's kind of why I will update you guys on what I think about the fasting. I'm basically eating between the hours of 12 and eight only and then fasting um, the other times. So. Now I'm gonna do my skincare routine really quick. In case you guys are wondering, I showered last night. I don't need a shower this morning. I typically work out in the evening, so I will shower tonight before I go to bed um, and all that stuff. I washed my hair yesterday, so I can just get dressed and everything for this morning because I'm already ready to go. First, my jade roller. I usually just start on my under eyes and it's like ice cold, so it feels so good. It, like wakes up your face. Um, always do my jawline like I feel like that is so important I'm trying to chisel it out you know my neck Okay, I just do that really quick. Now my moisturizer, typically just do like this. Work it in, oops. Okay, and that is really it for my little daytime skincare. Super fast and easy. I try to keep it pretty simple. Um, I've kind of been breaking out, so I've been keeping my skincare routine a little bit more minimal lately. I started getting some dry patches on my eyes, so I kind of laid off the eye cream that I was using. That's why I'm only using really one product. But I will get back to my normal stuff soon. That's just kind of what I'm doing now. Um, but that is pretty much it for my skincare. Now I think I'm just gonna get dressed, get out of like my pajama clothes, which is so important if you work from home. Do not work in your pajamas. It just is not right. I feel like you can't can't be fully productive and fully in work mode if you're literally in your pajamas. Like I know it's tempting, but don't do it, okay? So I'm gonna put just like leggings and a t-shirt on or like a sweatshirt, something comfy still, but just not my pajamas. And then we'll finish up this video. Okay, so I just got dressed and I have to share. This is a huge part of my morning routine, the morning toast. I watch it every single morning. They go live throughout the week and they just talk about like pop culture, things that are trending and all that stuff. I really love watching it. Um, I don't usually make it to the live show because they are on Eastern time, so it's I think it's pretty early, but I'm actually not sure. I usually watch it after it goes up on YouTube. So this is today, Wednesday, January 22nd. Um, but I just got dressed while I'm listening to that, and then I'll probably finish that throughout the day, maybe when I eat lunch and stuff like that. And I really just went from one cozy outfit to another, but it's not pajamas, so it's good. Just in a little hoodie and some leggings, nothing fancy. Um, but I think I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my morning routine. I think it was really fun. If you guys did like this, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also comment below if you wanna see these more regularly. And I can do them um, um, a little bit more, maybe once every few months or something like that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later this week in my second video. Bye.